In this video, we will talk about two important concepts, I enumerable and I enumerator. Now many developers are confused, you know, what is the difference between I enumerable and I enumerator. So what we'll do in this video is first let's see a small sample demonstration of both these fundamentals and then we will go ahead and, and chalk out the differences. In order to understand both of these concepts, you know, what I've done is you can see that I've created a very simple list here. This list is nothing but it's a list of integers and this list has, you know, uh, some data for years. Years means like 1990, 91, 92, uh, 2001, 2002 and 2003. So let's go ahead and create a very simple I enumerable on the top of this list. So I'll go and say, okay, I want to create a I enumerable, you know, which is of type integer. So I'll just give a name as I enumerable, I enum I can say, uh, and I'll say that, okay, convert, you know, this complete list, you know, to an enumerable. So I'll just say end and convert this list that is O years to I enumerable, right. Now if I want to go and browse this, uh, what you call enumeration, what I can do is I can say for each int I in I enum, and I can just go and write down on the console screen. So I can just say console dot write line I. And if I do a control F5, you can see that I can see the list of years, you know, what I have in my list. Now we have written the code for enumerable. Now let's go ahead and write the code for enumerator. And after that, we'll go and find out the differences. Okay. So I'm going to go and say, okay, I enumerator uh, of int. Uh, so this is I enum right now you know the list right it actually has a nice function here which actually you know converts uh, you know the list into an enumerator so you can see that i am going to use that function get enumerator okay. now in order to go and browse this enumerator which i have created the way i have to write now is it's very different than i enumerable so we have to say while i enumerate dot move next so we have to do a move next and then we can say console dot write line i enumerate dot current dot to string right so that will help us to go and enumerate the enumerator so if i do a control f5 okay you can see that one enumeration was done by using the enumerable and the other values were displayed by using the enumerator right so in simple words, both of these guys, I enumerable as well as I enumerator helps you to loop through collections. Now these collections can be list, you know, it can be array list or whatever it is. So the next question as a developer, which will come to your mind is, so what should I use? I mean to say both of these guys are doing the same thing. And if you watch very closely, you will say that I will always use I enumerable because the syntax is uh, short and sweet, you know, as compared to I enumerator. If you look at I enumerator, you have to do a move next, you know, then in order to access the current element, you have to do a dot current and whatnot. So you'll say that as a developer, I will always use I enumerable. Why even I worry about I enumerator? Now, before I, sh I start going into the differences, you know, let me just make one uh, big statement here. I enumerable, you know, is a sugar coating on I enumerator. Or I'll say I enumerable actually uses I enumerator. The whole point about I enumerable was, you know, to make the syntax shorter and sweeter so you can if you see right if you see the i enumerable object if you just see i enumerable and if you do dot right you can see that the i enumerable uh, interface has a get enumerator function here and this get enumerator function actually gives gives you back a i enumerator uh, collection so in other words i enumerable uses i enumerator internally so that's the first point right now coming back to the main difference so that's good we understood it that i enumerable you know helps you to bring down the coding uh, it helps you to basically uh, what you call minimize your code you know and it's much shorter and sweeter you know as compared to using a i enumerator so now till now you know must be you have concluded saying that okay must be i enumerable is better to use because it uses i enumerator syntax are lesser so why even bother about i enumerator now let me make one more statement the biggest difference between I enumerable and I enumerator is states. I enumerable does not remember currently which row is he currently iterating through while I enumerator does. What do I mean? For example, for now what I'll do is I'm going to go and comment this code out. Okay. Now let's say you have two functions here. 
let's say static void i'll say iterate from 19 to 20 means you know iterate all the years you know from 1990 to 2000 okay so 1990 to 2001 and there's another function which actually iterates from must be 2001 and above okay so iterate 2001 and above right and what you'd like to do is that okay this function iterate 19 to 2001 will iterate values from 1990 to 2001 1990 to 2001 while this function will take up the values from from ahead of that that means from 2001 to 2003 right and to both these function let's go ahead and pass i enumerator so you can see that i'm going to pass him i enumerator here o and also here i will pass i enumerator sorry int and int so this first guy what he will do is he will loop through the iterator so when we pass him the enumerator right from here he will actually loop through this enumerator here and display the values okay sorry o that is o but you know the time this this current value okay it, if it goes above 2000 or 2001 we have to pass that iterator to the second function okay so i'm going to say convert dot to int 16 if the current value the o dot current if it goes above 2000 then please pass this iterator to the other function so that he can take away take from there and start doing the things okay and in the next function we'll just go and take the values from 2001 to 2003 and display it so in other words you know from this main function i'm going to go and pass the iterator to this first function who is going to go and enumerate from 19 to 2001 right what he will do is he will start looping but as soon as you know the, the number of years go above 2000 he is going to pass this complete iteration to this guy over here and he will take take from there so in other words now now if you see the output right the output is definitely very easy to understand so if you if i go and run this in a debug mode now so that is my enumerator now first this enumerator goes to the first function he starts moving displays the first value so the first value is 1990 right and he loops you know until sorry for that he loops sorry so he loops you know until you know the number of years go above 2000 so you can see now it is 2001 so he's now entering the other function so he's passing this iterator or this enumerator i'll say rather you know to the other function so you can now you can see that he has now started looping from here and from here this enumerator you can see now is taking the values ahead of 2000 the you know uh, ahead of 2001 you know that is 2002 and 2003 so you can see that the second function is now taking 2002 and then it's taking 2003 right so if i see the final output from 1990 to 2001 it was you know looped by using iterator iterate 19 to 2001 function while the iterate 2001 and above function actually helped me to loop 2002 and 2003 in other words you know when i was passing this enumerator from one function to other function he was knowing his current cursor position he was knowing you know what exactly is his current cursor position and from where to start right now let's try to do this i with i enumerable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this as i enumerable right this again as i enumerable right and what i'll do is i'll just uh, you know for i enumerable we all know that we have to use a for each loop so i'm going to say for each you know int i in o so if o 
is greater than 2000 then just pass this complete enumeration to the other function so this o is an integer sorry the i so if the i is greater than 2000 the current value is greater than 2000 just move this uh, what you call i enumerable to the next guy that is this function iteration iteration iterate 2001 and above and over here also i'm going to just go and control c this control v and here i'm going to go and loop and display the value so let's say console dot right line i and we'd also like to display this values over here also so i'm going to say control right now what we're trying to do is i'm going to go and comment this code i'm going to uncomment this code here and i'm going to say yes pass this i enumerable to iterate 19, 2001 and above, right? 19, 2000, 19 to 2001, I'm sorry. My my function names are very confusing at this moment. I'm sorry for that, right? So what we're doing now is you know, the same thing. What we did with I enumerator, now we're trying to, you, you, know, you, you know, you know, replace it with I enumerable. So you can see that I've created an I enumerable collection here and I'm passing it to, uh, you know, this function first. He loops it. The time the value goes above 2000, right? He actually passes this I enumerable to the other function, okay? So I'm going to put a debug point here and let me do F5. So there it goes. So it goes here in. So it starts, right? So what the first value is 1990, fine, not greater than 2000. Goes ahead. Goes ahead. And now the value is greater than 2000. So he goes here, right? So now you can see that he has looped till 2000. In other words, he has looped this uh, you know the first four or five values right so what should happen is actually uh, theoretically speaking is when he goes here to loop right he should start from 2001 and above right but if you go and see the value now of i you can see it is 1990 in other words i enumerable does not remember his cursor state he doesn't remember you know uh, you know at at the at which current position he belongs to so the biggest difference between i enumerable and i enumerator is that you know i enumerable remember states while i enumerable does not okay so you can see now over here you know this is again starting from completely from one so if you see the final output it's going to be weird right it's going to probably loop multiple times you can see and that's something wrong results right completely why that has happened is because i enumerable does not remember you know till which cursor position he has looped to so let's sum up. So if your requirement is that you want to just loop sequentially through the collection one by one and you, you are not interested you know, in where your cursor is currently, you just want to loop through them, then I enumerable is the best fit. Why? Because the code is shorter, it is sweeter, the syntax is much smaller as compared to the iterator or the enumerator I'll say. Now the I enumerator is, is, a, is a good fit you know, where you, you want to pass that enumerator you know, from one function to other function and you want to remember till you know at what position the current cursor is then i enumerator is a better fit as compared to i enumerable so i hope that you enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand in what situation is i enumerable good and in what situation is i enumerator good thank you so much